How do you say goodbye to a bright light extinguished too soon? Today, Southport gathered to honor and remember little Elsie Dot Stankum, the seven-year-old whose tragic death has left the community in mourning. In a heartbreaking display of love and sorrow, the parents of Elsie Dot Stankum followed their daughter's tiny, multicolored coffin in a horse-drawn carriage through the streets of Southport. The carriage, led by horses adorned with rainbows, was accompanied by hundreds of mourners, including grieving locals, emergency service members, and her cheerleading troop. The sight of the pink ribbons tied to lampposts and the bright colors worn by mourners reflected the vibrant life that Elsie lived, as her family had requested no one were black. The funeral procession made its way to St. John's Church in Birkdale, the very church where Elsie was baptized. As the coffin, light and adorned with a shroud of many colors, was carried inside by four pallbearers, the air was heavy with grief, yet tinged with the celebration of a life filled with joy. Elsie's family, including her younger sister Rosie, just three years old, gathered with friends and loved ones to remember the little girl who had touched so many hearts. The service began with heartfelt tributes from Elsie's teachers and classmates. They spoke of a girl who made everyone laugh, who wore the prettiest socks, and who always gave her best in everything she did. The image of the pallbearers wearing Taylor Swift bracelets while carrying her coffin was a poignant reminder of how much Elsie loved the pop star's music. One of her favorite songs, Love Story, was performed by a lone singer, the trembling voice echoing the heartbreak felt by all. Elsie, along with two other young girls, B.B. King and Alice De Silva Aguiar, lost their lives in a brutal knife attack during a Taylor Swift-themed holiday club last month. Her parents, Jenny and David, have been unwavering in their determination to celebrate Elsie's life, despite their unimaginable loss. The church was filled to capacity as the community gathered to say goodbye, led by Vicar Rev. Jenny Hardy, who described Elsie as an extraordinary girl who loved a big party. Emily Ridgway, speaking on behalf of Elsie's parents, painted a picture of a child filled with kindness, politeness, and joy. She shared how Elsie's confidence grew with each passing day and how she was so excited to become a big sister to Rosie. The bond between the sisters was something special, a bond that brought immense joy to their family. As the service continued, tributes poured in, with Elsie's former teacher, Katie Sykes, recalling the sassy girl who loved sparkly nail varnish and glittery heels. She read out memories from Elsie's school friends, who remembered her as a great cheerleader with a knack for making everyone smile. In a touching tribute, a procession of post office vans followed Elsie's hearse, a nod to her father David's work as a postman. The streets of Southport were lined with people of all ages, some blowing bubbles, as the cortege passed by, breaking the solemn silence with applause. The outpouring of love and support from the community was palpable, a testament to the impact Elsie had on those around her. Inside the church, the service was filled with music, including performances by the Lighthouse Choir and the playing of Elsie's favorite songs. The pink carpet, balloon arch, and pastel-colored flowers that decorated the church were a beautiful tribute to a little girl who brought so much light into the world. Elsie's family expressed their gratitude to the Southport community for the overwhelming support they've received since her tragic death. They shared that Elsie was an amazing child, one who loved life and lived it to the fullest. Her legacy, they vowed, would continue through the love and joy she brought to so many. As the service came to a close, the sound of wind beneath my wings filled the church, followed by the poignant moment when the family left the church to Taylor Swift's love story. The tears and trembling voices were a stark reminder of the deep loss felt by all who knew Elsie. But even in this moment of profound grief, there was a sense of hope, a belief that Elsie's light will continue to shine, that her story will be told every day by those who loved her. And as the community of Southport came together to say their final goodbyes, it was clear that Elsie Dot Stankum will never be forgotten. That's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. This is AU News, and we'll catch you in the next video.